What does off the curb mean? If I told you how many times I get this comment, this guy is so stupid, he doesn't even know how to spell curb right. Well, I'll tell you what it means. Basically, I'm a street preacher, so I preach off curbs, and my last name is Kirby. I'm called Joe Kirby. So I just basically put the two together and thought, well, <laughs> let's see if it works. And yeah, it is a bit unique. Very briefly, our startup story goes like this. I applied to a number of ministries because I felt a burden to be an evangelist. That's what I really wanted to do. But I got rejected by all of them. So I thought, well, why not try making your own ministry? It's worth a shot. Maybe the Lord can use it. And I knew that I had in my mind, I really wanted to, to, to reach people in Lancashire doing street preaching and to be working alongside other churches. So we started out in the beginning on this YouTube channel making street preaching videos but not very many people watched them. Then I branched out and I started making videos for atheists trying to reach atheists and that really was a, a real cringe fest. I have not got the smartest brain and my apologetics really do need some work on. So that went really badly and some big atheists they took my, my videos and uh, they made response videos and just don't go looking for them because you'll never watch my videos again. It's very, very embarrassing. Some atheists even wrote things like this. If your God is real, well then why can't he reverse your hairline? Or this guy is such a waste of carbon and all kinds of stuff. Oh, and by the way, it actually took me well over a year to get my first 100 subscribers. I was really embarrassed in those early days. I thought people might think I was being narcissistic or they might, might laugh at me uh, on my videos. So I just kept it a secret from all of my friends until eventually people started saying, I was watching YouTube and your face popped up the other day. So I had to sort of come clean uh, about what I was doing. So I carried on making the street preaching videos and then a friend asked me, you know, you do some pulpit preaching, would you make a video about sin and about why it is we might be tempted to go into the world? So I did one video about Psalm 73 and within a couple of weeks it got 200,000 views and I thought wow maybe I should try another one and I just started making these kind of explainer videos where I stand in front of the camera and just give some thoughts on the Bible and well the Lord's just been kinder to me than I deserve uh, and that's really how Off The Curb has taken off and we're just so blessed and thank you for those of you who continue to watch the videos. Many people ask me, Joe, how do I get in contact with you? Well, up until maybe four or five months ago, I had my email address on my website, but I made the decision because I wasn't seeing my family. I was going to bed at midnight, one o'clock in the morning, answering emails, making videos, street preaching, all of the things that come with ministry. And then I was just spending all this time writing long, long emails back to people. And if I am totally honest with you, I feel dreadful for this. I still feel guilty about this today because I want to help people. But at the same time, I don't want the whole world to be saved. And then my wife and child to not even know me and think, dad wasn't around so that's really why I've taken uh, my email address off the website maybe one day when things get more professional uh, I'll be able to put it back on there but at the moment I do apologize for that one quite a few of you asked me this when will you come and visit my country when are you coming to New Zealand when are you coming to the USA well I would love to visit the US got lots of friends over there now. I'd love to come to Africa. I'd love to go to the Philippines, to India. But the truth is this, I can only really come to a country if I'm invited to do some work. As much as I'd love to go to Florida and see alligators, go to India and eat a lovely, nice hot curry, or go to Vancouver Island and see orca whales. I'm a big fan of wildlife. I'd love to do that and come for just a holiday, but really I need to come over and do some preaching or some evangelism training. And so until I get invited to do that, I'll be staying over here in Lancashire. And there's plenty of work to do here. We've got lots and lots of atheists over here in England. There's a lot of Muslims over here who are willing to hear the gospel. So right now, I'll be staying over here in England. But who knows, 
one day maybe we will get to meet face to face and if not in this life in the next life uh, where we'll spend all of eternity together serving our Lord and Saviour Jesus Christ. Have you got any kids? Yes I've got one son a little baby boy called Samuel who makes his grand appearance in my morning prayer video and I've got a lovely wife called Emma who we've been married for Oh, you're asking me now. Um, six years now, I think, and we've been together nine years. Uh, anyway, doesn't matter. We love each other. That's the main thing. Are you on social media? Yes, we have uh, an Off The Curb Ministries Facebook page, so you're welcome to follow us there. And very recently, I've just started to dip my toe into TikTok, which is interesting because you can reach a lot of unbelievers there. And the way TikTok works is it spreads your videos out to the people who are in your local area. So I find that very interesting. And Instagram, we actually did have an Instagram account, but again, because I felt so guilty about people spending time writing long messages I actually deleted my Instagram um, because I wasn't able to answer the DMs there. Did you go to Bible College? Well unfortunately no I didn't make it to Bible College. I would have loved to have gone there to a good one because some Bible Colleges aren't so great and people come out of them and don't even believe the Bible anymore but there are some good ones out there and I do think it's important for us as preachers to be grounded in the Word of God because we've got to know what we're teaching and we've got to have some kind of uh, robust theology uh, as we're preaching God's Word. But unfortunately that didn't work out for me. The way I came into ministry was there's an organization called Young Life Campaign and it's that same organization which taught me to preach uh, through a guy called Vinnie Commons who's helped me a lot over the years. And what happened was they put up a new scheme, a training scheme, where they had a program where they would teach people two days a week. Uh, they would learn how to do ministry and youth work two days a week they would be funded by their church and then the other two days a week uh, they were they had to fund themselves and that's sort of how I started off the Curb Ministries working on those other two days a week. Now because I didn't go to Bible College I do make a lot of mistakes and I would always say whatever you hear me say in any of my videos always go back to the Word of God and test that it's right. One mistake I made recently and I thought this is a good opportunity to talk about is in a video I made about the five false teachings that are spreading around across Christianity I talked about the eye of the knee about a, a specific gate in the wall of Jerusalem where camels would have to take their luggage off their back and then they could fit through the eye of the needle. Well I got that totally wrong and actually when Jesus is talking about it he's talking about a literal eye and a massive big <laughs> needle, sorry a big camel going through the eye of the needle. So I just want to apologize and say I did get that one wrong. Hey now, so if today is the first day you've heard that I actually do street preaching and you'd like to see some of my street preaching videos, I've got a little playlist here. Maybe you could go and check them out on my second channel. If you haven't yet subscribed, uh, please do click here. We'd love to have your fellowship here at Off The Curb Ministries. And I just hope that this video hasn't been too boring. Um, I'm grateful that you've taken the time to listen to it today. And I look forward to getting to know you guys a little bit better in 2021. God bless you all. Thank you for watching.